Hey guys, it's me from butterbeer to be and today I'm gonna be showing you some of my newer slimes because I'm turning into that channel. <laughs> so, the f and I finally got some awesome ingredients. I got Daiso, four packs of Daiso clay. Um, I got polymer clay canes. I got fake snow. I'm so happy. Like, I'm awful at making butter slime. Like, these are so stiff. I have an even worse one. But this one that I made with Daiso, I think just yesterday. The lighting is terrible. But I mean, you, it's so stretchy. And it's so fluffy. It is so good. And you can actually make swirls with it. And it's so spreadable. Like, I mean, seriously. Whenever I wear shirts that say something, I always get paranoid that no one's gonna read it, so just take a second. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, this is, I'm not exactly sure what the word sizzling means, slime-wise, so I can't say that, but it, it sticks to the table, but it cleans up after itself super soft and stretchy and just amazing like seriously you can just like spread it which you can't do with any of my other butter slimes all my other ones are awful <sighs> tip for when making butter slime with daiso make sure that you kind of like, not completely, but just a little bit underactivate your slime. Because this makes it really thick. Where's the lid? There we go. Now for the next one. If I can close this container. It won't close. There we go. Oh, nope. This one, I went to Target with my friend Abby, and we got these cute little containers, and we wanted to make mini slimes. So, I made this, and it's kind of glitter bomb. It looks like it's a pink slime. It's not. It's, it's clear base, and it, all of the color is literally just glitter. Like, if you look closely, all just little specks. It's a completely clear slime. It's so small. Like, <laughs> it's so tiny. But it's a really stretchy good slime. I used some holographic pink glitter and really really fine matte pink glitter. Next one. Man, I don't know how Talisa Tossel gets through her videos in like three minutes showing like 40 different slimes. It's insane. Um, let's see, what else? Here's one. I made a mermaid holographic slime. It, the glitter definitely gets off on your fingers. Um, it's I'm gonna call this one mermaid scales. I think that would be appropriate. I colored the slime itself teal. It a couple drops of green. The sparkles do come off on your fingers, but I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's not very stretchy, but it's just beautiful. I mean, it's, it gets stretchier when you need it. You can make a bad swirl with it. It's very hard to poke. I don't think it's my best slime. It's definitely not my best slime. 
Um, next one, I think. Because that one is not very fun. It's just fun looking. <laughs> now I gotta wipe off my hands. Daiso clay does get into your fingers a lot though. <laughs> um, let's see, what is another one? Mm, I know there's more. Anyway, it's super crunchy. The only problem with this one is that the beads do come off on your hands, which is annoying. It's so crunchy. I'm trying to do an ASMR kind of thing here, but I'm just failing. The beads get all over you, so, so it's annoying. So I, there is another one. I know it. I know it. I know it. It's over here. This one I used my polymer clay canes. I tried using everything. Oh, it wasn't closed all the way. I tried to use everything that I got in the package, but I used the snow and I added way too much. But it's okay because I got three gallons of it. because I want to start selling my slimes like on Instagram or something. Maybe start next year. I don't know. So this is a... It was supposed to be red, but it's more pink than red. Clear base slime with cute strawberry polymer clay canes that I cut. And just a tip, don't use scissors to cut your polymer clay canes. Use a knife, because I use scissors and it made it so uneven and they're just like all weird, I don't know. But just use a knife and ask for your parents to help you. Well, that wasn't satisfying at all. Um. 
Oh, no, 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 Ricky. Ricky. This one confuses me. Whenever I try to make a clear base slime, it either overactivates or is very underactivated. I can never get it just right. But whenever I overactivate it, which is very common, ask all of my clear base slimes, really. Bubbles on top. They're satisfying at first, but then you poke it and your finger just like breaks it. And it's very unsatisfying. So you have to like rip that part off. And then the bottom half, though, is just awesome. Well, it was awesome. If you leave it for a while, then it is awesome. I think I put in too many beads. It kind of hurts your hands. These aren't sugar, or these aren't slushy beads. These are like gardening filler beads. I don't know. They're not fun. <laughs> and I lost the lid. Here it is. Not satisfying. Um. Anyway, that's all for today. Make sure to like, comment down below what I should do for my next video, even though I know that none of you do it because I only have 30 subscribers, and I mean, like, yeah. And subscribe to become a part of the... <laughs> Octopus family. Have a good day and goodbye. Bye bye. Bye.